Oh, hey!
Welcome back.
accepted. So that's what happened on the night of the 7th. It was a difficult operation. I see. They're getting tougher. But it's not all bad news. I called today's meeting because... I'm sorry. Before we go on, I'd like to ask Mitsuru-senpai something. Me? Since I've joined, so many things have happened. I went along with it without really understanding what was going on. But now I need to know. I'm going to ask you straight out. You've been hiding something from us, haven't you, Senpai? You act like you don't know anything about the Dark Hour and Tartarus. But they're related to that accident ten years ago, aren't they? What accident? Yukari-chan! There was an explosion near our school, and a lot of people died. It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? Yes. 
Luckily, no students were injured. But... Around the same time, a large number of students were recorded as absent. Seems like more than just a coincidence. What do you mean? I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. The students who were absent, they all collapsed suddenly and had to be hospitalized. Sound familiar? You know, like the girls who bullied Fuka. <laughs> there has to be an explanation. What really happened on the day of that accident? The Kirijo group built our school, so you must know something. Tell me the truth. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. It just never seemed relevant. But... It's okay. It's not your fault. All right. I'll tell you the whole story. The shadows have many mysterious abilities. Some research indicates that they can even affect time and space. We think of them as our enemies, but what if we could somehow use them to our advantage? They would be a source of unimaginable power, wouldn't they? What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that line of thinking. He was the former leader of the Kirijo group, Koetsu Kirijo, my grandfather. My grandfather was obsessed with the shadows. He wanted to harness their power for something extraordinary. Like what? He assembled a team of top scientists, and over several years, he put together an impressive collection of shadows. He what? Damn, that's freaking crazy. However, ten years ago, during the final stages of the experiment, they lost control of the shadows' power. And in the process, the very nature of the world was altered. Oh my, do you mean... Yes, Tartarus and the Dark Hour. <sighs> By their account, the mass of shadows they collected split into several large ones that then dispersed. These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. Is that why they've appeared in different places? Wait a minute. If what you said is true, then why did our school turn into Tartarus? Don't tell me. That's where they conducted the experiment? Yes. Then, those students who were hospitalized... I'm afraid it's just as you're thinking. Port Island must have been an ideal location for them. It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could do as they pleased. As you guessed, the experiment ten years ago was conducted at Gekukan High School. Does that mean all we've been doing is cleaning up their mess? You lied to us? You knew, too, didn't you, Senpai? They've just been using us. Or do you not care as long as you get to fight? I never said anything like that. I have my reasons. Think what you'd like. It was my decision not to share that information. I'm sorry. I never intended to deceive you. Convincing you to join C's was my highest priority. As absurd as it may seem, only we, with our personas, can fight the shadows. How could you? Besides, some of us were never given a choice. I... Mitsuro, don't. Yukari, it's those in the past who are to blame. And they lost their lives as a result of what they did. We're all in the same boat here. None of us deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. But... <sighs> it's been ten years since that incident. No one knows why those shadows suddenly returned. But since they're active, at least we can find and destroy them. Do you realize what this means? What if I told you that those twelve shadows are the cause of everything? Then if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? Exactly! That's what I was going to tell you earlier. See, it's good news, isn't it? Is that true? There's evidence to support it. Now, our true battle begins. I see. Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect the people. The shadows are gaining strength. We can't afford to just wait for them. Indeed. And there are many mysteries still surrounding Tartarus. 
Why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? The answer must lie within it. Hmm. Nothing to do as usual, huh? Hmm? <laughs> Why are you here? If you came here to try and convince me, then forget it. It's nothing like that. I just wanted to see how you were doing. Huh? We've known each other for a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. <laughs> You haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other friends. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge ahead like a damn fool. So obviously, there's something on your mind. <laughs> I do reminisce sometimes. But... <sighs> anyway, we finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the Dark Hour. No shit. Yeah. To be honest, all I've been thinking about lately is getting stronger. But yesterday, someone... Your reason for fighting, huh? That's different for every person. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. Like I did. I'm not like you. Man, I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. Well, see you around. You haven't changed at all. Yes? Can I talk to you for a moment? Senpai? Oh, please come in. Not only do you excel at providing support during battle, but also at obtaining information. Oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have a special favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. But very little was made public. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean, hack into their system? That's illegal. I'll give you my ID and password. You'll be free from accountability. I want to know the truth. In detail. Senpai. Of course. I'll understand if you refuse. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi, aren't you resentful? After all, despite my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. Certainly, you must be a little angry with me. Not really. You see, my parents have an inferiority complex because all my relatives are doctors. That's why they're so tough on me. It's really hard for me to be at home. But here, I feel important, and I can help you and the others. So why should I be angry? You're right, Yamagishi. We do need you. No one can take your place. Uh, um... Thank you. I'll see you later. So... Tartarus and the Dark Hour will be gone, huh? That's good. 
That's what we've been fighting for. So why am I so pissed? Gosh, it's hot. Even for July. Seriously. But at least we're seniors now. We won't be wearing these stupid uniforms much longer. Yeah, I've had enough of this. I just want to get accepted to college and start having some fun. <laughs> I know why. I'm the reason. I was like, fighting is my duty, but hell, it's all I'm good for. If it weren't for that, I'd be worthless. <laughs> my duty. What a bunch of bullshit. I can't fight worth shit anyway. Not compared to him, at least. Damn it! Nothing I do is good enough. <sighs> Seems like my worst fears keep coming true. Am I stupid to believe in things like trust and friendship? Dad, this old letter of yours. We must have read it a thousand times since it came last spring. March 6th, 2000. To my family. Tomorrow, I bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It'll be stored in a time capsule and sent to you ten years from now. Yukari, you're so small right now, but in ten years, you'll be 16. You'll be in high school. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you still always greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Karijo-san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon, and I'm happy to be receiving so much recognition for my work. But I swear to you that nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Dad. Yukari. Are you remembering to enjoy life? Are you still bright-eyed and hopeful, like you are now? No matter what happens in the next ten years, I hope you're happy. Well, I hope this letter brings a smile to your face. Love, Dad. No matter what happens, huh? I can't lose hope. For his sake. I won't turn my back. I won't be like Mom. Not ever.